It's when we worship that things do change. It's when we worship, we put our gaze off of the situation that is in front of us and we put our eyes on the throne upon Him. And it's when we put our gaze upon Him, that's where we can see things change. That's where things can be broken. That's where we can be set free. That's where we can be delivered. God says, doesn't matter what your situation, remember to worship me. Doesn't matter what we're going through, remember to worship our God. Doesn't matter what we're facing right now, we need to worship Him because it's from Him everything will change. It's from Him everything can change in our life. So, Father God, right now, Father, I pray that we will always remember that it doesn't matter what we're facing and what we're going through. And the things that seem so impossible, I pray that we will remember in those moments to worship you. I pray in those moments we will remember to open our mouths and just worship you, Lord God. I pray right now, Father, that we will remember to put our eyes towards heaven and put our eyes towards your throne and come boldly to your throne of grace with worship, Lord God. So, Father God, right now, Lord, I pray for those that are here and for those that are online, God, that we, Father God, will just remember to worship you. And I just feel like in this moment right now, we're going to just worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords because that is all that matters. And I just want Bruno to sing that song just one more time just the main the main verse because God wants us to remember that it doesn't matter what we are facing right now what is important is that we are worshiping him in this moment thank you I live to worship you oh Jesus and we say and to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Oh, and to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. We're created for this, oh God. Yeah. We'll sing it out, church. And to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Just the voices now. Every voice in the room proclaims it. And to worship you, I live. That's it. Come on. One more time, crown the King of glory, we say, and to worship you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, we worship you, Father God. Our eyes and our gaze and our attention is upon your throne right now, Father. I thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that as our gaze is upon you, Lord God, that everything that the enemy is speaking, we tell it to bow now in the name of Jesus, Father God. We silence the enemy now off of our life, off of our families, Lord God. And I pray right now that your presence, Father God, will dwell over our households, Father God. That your peace, Father God, we command your peace right now. We declare your peace over our hearts and over our minds in the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray right now for those that are grieving, for those that are hurting right now. I pray right now your comfort will come to them right now in the name of Jesus, Father, because Jesus, you came, Lord God, to remind us that you are with us, Lord God, and you're with us in, in, our, in our hard times, in our difficult times, Lord God, and in our times of blessing right now. So I pray right now for those that are hurting, for those that are really struggling in this season, Father. I pray right now that you will comfort them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that you will be close to the brokenhearted in this season, Lord. Those that have lost loved ones in this season, I pray right now that you will comfort them, Lord. Those that are missing, those that have recently passed away, I pray that you will comfort them now, God. I pray right now that there be no one alone at Christmas, Lord God. I pray right now that you'll put the lonely in families in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I pray right now that they will know that you are close to them in this season. I thank you, God, that you're with us, Lord. I thank you, God, that your presence is here right now. 
And I thank you, Lord God, that we do have the privilege to worship you, Lord. And we're going to keep our eyes and our attention and our focus on you today, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for this time. And I thank you for everyone that is here. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Greet someone next to you. Give them a hug. Just tell them we're happy to see them. And I'm so grateful for everyone that is here online and here in person right now. And so we're going into a very busy, busy time. And obviously Christmas time is very busy here at the church too. We're going to have seven services over the weekend. And I'm excited for all the people that are going to be coming, all the visitors, all the people that are only coming Christmas and Easter. But I'm believing God's going to encounter them. I'm believing that God is going to get a hold of those that have been distant from him, that have been far from him. They may only come on Easter and Christmas. I believe God is going to encounter them personally over these services. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to have a time of intercession and a time of prayer for those that are going to be coming this weekend because this is where we're going to see the most amount of people come. You're going to be inviting your friends. You're going to be inviting your family members. And I'm going to encourage you all in a moment. We're going to walk around every single chair and we're going to ask the Lord to encounter every single person that is sitting in that seat and ask God to minister to them personally. God knows if they're saved. God knows if they're not saved. But we're asking God to minister to them personally. You know, God, if they need healing. You know, God, if they need salvation. You know, God, if they need peace. I'm believing God to touch every single person that is coming this weekend. And we're going to ask God. Because at times we don't have because we do not ask. And God is saying you ask for every single person that is going to be sitting on these seats. And believe that he is going to minister to them and he's going to touch every single person and he's going to save the lost and those that are broken right now. So right now in this moment, I encourage you all, we're going to walk around here. Well, you guys are going to walk. I'm going to stand and I'm going to pray with those online. But I want you to touch the, the chairs. I want you to touch the balcony. If you can go upstairs to the balcony up there, we're believing God to meet every single person right now. Okay. So let us stand and let us begin to walk. So Father God, right now we are believing you, Father God. We are asking you, Lord Jesus, for every single person that is coming this weekend, Lord God, for the Christmas services, Father God. It's you drawing them, Father. You're drawing them from the north, the east, the south, and the west, Father God. And we're believing, Father God, that you have a specific word, Lord, for every single person, Lord God. You know their need. You know what they're struggling with. Pray with me online as well. You know what they're going through. I pray right now, Father, that you will touch them with peace, God. I pray right now that you will heal their bodies, God. I pray right now for those that are tormented by the enemy, that you will deliver them and you will set them free, God. And we pray right now, Lord God, for those, Lord, that just come at Christmas and Easter, Lord God. I pray, God, an encounter with the living God right now. I pray right now, the every way the enemy has veiled their eyes, every way that they They cannot see the beautifulness of the gospel. I pray that their eyes will be opened in this season, Lord God, that we will see even more coming to you in the name of the Lord. I pray right now you'll call back those that are prodigals, God. I pray, God, for those that are prodigals that are going to be sitting in these seats, Lord. I pray, God, that you will draw them back in the name of the Lord. I pray right now against all shame, God, all condemnation, all guilt right now, everything that is holding them bound, Lord God. I pray that you will set them free and draw them, Lord God. So we're asking for every single person, Lord God. We're asking for their souls. We're asking for salvation. We're asking for healing. We're asking for freedom. We're asking for deliverance, Father God. We're asking for you to minister to those that that may feel hidden right now and in isolation. I pray that you will touch them, Father God, and minister to them personally, Father. We're believing that you are going to encounter the lives of every person that is coming. And even those in the children's ministry, we're asking for the children as well, God. We thank you for the children that 
that are coming, Father God, that those that don't know you, Lord God, I pray right now that you will encounter our children, you will encounter our students right now in the name of Jesus, that they will come to know you in a very special and a very, a very, very beautiful way, God. We command the spirit of religion off of this house now in the name of Jesus. Everything that comes against them, really knowing who you are, Lord Jesus, we command that to go now in the name of the Lord. And I pray that you'll just encounter our people, encounter them, Father God, touch them in a very special way. We pray your presence will be here. I pray a ministering of peace, God, over every person that is seated and who's going to be coming this Christmas season, God. Touch them now, Father God. Be with them now. Continue to draw them. Continue to give us favor. Some of you got to ask for favor. You're inviting friends. You're inviting family members. So we're asking right now, God, for favor as we are inviting those from our communities. We're inviting neighbors. We're inviting friends and family members. I pray for favor right now that as we ask them to come, that they will actually come, Father God. And we are going to see them over this weekend, God. We thank you right now, Lord Jesus. Draw your people back to the house and the houses of Hillsborough County, Father God. We ask for every church right now that you will minister to every person that comes to every church in this region, Lord God. That you will touch everyone's life, Father. That you will bless them, Father God. That you will minister to them at this particular time. So we can start to come back now and come back together. So Father God, we do. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this season. All heaviness, we tell it to come off of this house. We come against the spirit of heaviness right now, a spirit of oppression. We tell it to go now in the name of the Lord, Father God. We declare where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, Father God. And we declare freedom over every service, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We declare your spirit reign over every service right now. We pray, Father God, right now for the worship team. Lift up your voices for the worship team because they're going to be doing seven services this whole weekend. Father God, we lift up the worship team to you. And we pray right now that you'll protect their homes. You'll protect them, Lord Jesus. And you'll strengthen them in this season, Lord God. I pray right now that you will pour back into them in every way that they are poured out in this, in this, in this season, Lord God. Refresh them, Father God, in this season. Be with them in this season, Lord. So we thank you. I just think right now we just got to raise a praise and a thank you to the Lord. Let us thank him for the people that are going to be coming. Let us thank him for what he is about to do. Let us thank him for the salvation. Let us thank him for the prodigals that are going to go ho come home. Let us thank him, Lord God, for those that you've been praying for for years are going to come back to him in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in this moment. And I pray right now that our expectation will be high for this season that you're going to touch our families, you're going to touch our friends and those that we've been praying for in this season. So we thank you right now. So I'm just going to seal in this time right now in, in a closing prayer. So we thank you, God, and we're trusting you. We're trusting you to minister to every person that is here. And we're trusting you to minister to every person that is in South Shore, God. Even though we couldn't physically lay hands on every chair, God, I believe, Father God, you hear our prayers, Lord God. So we are asking also for those that are going to be attending in South Shore, God, that you will touch their hearts, Lord God, that there'll be an increase of salvation, that you will bring the prodigals home, Father God. I just pray just your blessing over this house right now. And we declare no weapon formed against us will prosper. We plead the blood of Jesus over, our, over this house now in the name of the Lord. And we thank you. We pray a covering over our pastor right now. And over everyone that is going to be ministering over this weekend, over our servant leaders, I pray that you'll protect every single one of us. Over the media team right now, we just pray a covering. Father God, over Stephen, over Brandy, over the team of media, Father God, that are, that have been pouring out so much in preparation of this weekend. I just pray for grace. I pray for strength. I pray for joy, Father God. I pray for an increase of joy in this house. Let's pray for joy right now. I pray for joy to arise to arise, to arise in this house right now, that the joy of the Lord will truly be our portion. It's not down to our circumstance. It's not down to our situation. It's the fact that you, God, are on the throne. You have chosen us. You have saved us. You have set us free, God. May the joy of the Lord be our portion in this season. So I pray for an outpouring of joy, God. Outpouring of joy, God, over this season, Lord God. And I come against all heaviness of heart right now. 
Everyone that is weary, God, I pray a refreshing now. Anyone that's losing hope, I pray right now that you will restore hope, God. And I pray for fresh vision in this season, God. What are you saying to us in 20, going into 2019, Lord? I pray for just a new encounter. I pray an outpouring of your spirit, Lord God. I pray for new wine in this season, Lord God. We are not done yet, Lord God. You have more for us, Lord God. And as more we can experience of your presence, Lord God, as more we can experience of you, Lord. So I pray that you would encounter your people over this season. Those that are here, those that are online, just encounter the body of Christ, Lord. Touch us in a special way this season. Prepare us for 2019. We thank you, Lord, that you are here, your presence is here. And that you are truly with us, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's give us one more praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to go into another time of prayer, but there was a, a thought the Lord gave me before I do. And make sure everyone's got a communion cup. Has everyone got a communion cup? If you have not, you're going to need one. I don't know where they are, praise the Lord, but we can find them, right? So if you don't have, put your hand up because you're going to need this so that we can get some to you. If you do not have, because you're going to need a communion cup for this time of prayer. And for those that are on, at home, I just encourage you just to get a juice, get some bread, so that you can partake with us when we go into communion. Okay, so everyone, if you don't have, put your hand up. If you, if you don't have a communion, it looks like everyone's got. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to just share a vision the Lord put on my heart, and then we're going to go into another time of prayer. I'm excited and I'm expecting for this season. Amen. Even though 2018 might have been difficult for some of us, I believe God's got greater for us going into 2019. Because God's people has to go from glory to glory. God's people has to go from strength to strength. God's people have to go from faith to faith. So God's got more for us in 2019, despite how 2018 might have looked for every single one of us. So before I share this vision, let me just pray. Father God, I thank you for this word. I thank you for this time now. I thank you for those that are here right now and those that are watching us online and joining us online. I pray your blessing now over this time. I pray right now that you will minister to us personally. Father God, that you will touch our hearts, that you will speak to us. I pray that it be your words through me, Father God. I thank you, Lord. I pray protection over this time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So the Lord gave me a vision for what we're going to do in a moment, but it was a vision of a refrigerator. The door was open and I saw inside a milk carton and the milk carton had milk in it. And I says, okay, this is interesting, Lord, right? So as the Lord was, was speaking to me, he said, ultimately, you don't buy a milk, you don't buy milk just for it to be preserved within a refrigerator. You buy the milk in order for it to be poured out. Poured out in whatever way, at whatever time, to whatever degree. Jesus paid a price for every single one of us. He paid a high price by dying on the cross. He paid a high price not for us just to be simply preserved, but for us to be poured out. Jesus paid a high price for our freedom, for our healing, for our salvation, for our deliverance. Not for us to remain in the church, not just for us to attend a church service, not for us simply to be preserved, but for us to be poured out. There is still so many in the body of Christ that are simply concerned about being preserved, but are not asking God, how do you want to pour me out? I'm willing to be poured out. God is looking for a generation that is not coming to him saying, I want you to do this for me, God. But he's looking for a generation that is coming to him and saying, God, in whatever way you want to pour me out, here I am, Lord, send me. God is looking for a generation that is saying, God, I am simply the clay. You are the potter. 
I am willing, Father God, to go wherever you want me to go, to do whatever you want me to do. You've called me with a purpose and with a plan, not to preserve me, but to be poured out on this earth. Because the only way this earth is going to change is not by us remaining preserved, but by us being poured out in the way God wants to pour us out. God is wanting to use every single one of us. Every single one of us has been created with a purpose and with a plan. What is in us is good. What is in us is treasure. What is in us is golden. But God is saying, if you don't allow me to pour you out, just like milk, eventually it expires. Eventually it is of no use. Eventually there's nothing that can be done with that milk any longer. God is saying in this moment to the body of Christ, I want to pour you out. What you have in you is valuable. What, I, what you have in you is what this world needs. I need a willingness now from the body of Christ to say whatever it takes, God, whatever you want me to do, Lord Jesus. I never was created to be preserved. I was created to be poured out. Poured out in whatever way, at whatever time, to whatever degree. Father God is wanting us to lay our lives down for Him because He paid a high price for us. The reason we're able to sit here right now is because He paid a high price for us. Not to preserve us, but to pour us out. To pour us out. God wants us to end 2018, going into 2019, saying, God, I want to be poured out by you in 2019. We take, we take communion in remembrance of ultimately what Jesus did for us. His body was broken for us. His blood was shed for every single one of us so that we could have salvation. But today we are going to not just do communion in remembrance of what Jesus did for us, but we're going to take communion as a dedication to the Lord of saying, God, here I am. Here I am. I'm willing now to be poured out by you. I'm offering myself because there's nothing else you can give to God. I'm offering myself as a living sacrifice to be poured out by you in whatever way, Lord Jesus. In whatever way, in whatever way, God. So right now, we're not going to do communion all together at this moment. But what we're going to do is Natalia is going to sing a song, New Wine. And I'm about to open up this altar. And I believe the Lord put on my heart and said, He wants this to be a private declaration between you and Him. I don't want us to do it all corporately together because sometimes we do it because our neighbor's doing it. God doesn't want it to be doing you doing it because your neighbor's doing it. God wants you to do it because you are saying to the Lord, I'm going to be a living sacrifice for you in 2019. I'm going to be poured out by you in whatever way in 2019. And this is between me and you, God. And God takes our words seriously, and that's why I don't want us to take this lightly right now, what we're saying. He takes our vows. He takes our yeses very seriously. So in this moment right now, we're going to examine our heart and say, God, am I truly ready to be poured out in whatever way, at whatever time, to whatever degree? And if you say, yes, that is me, then we're going to open up this altar right now. You can come to the altar or you can do it in your seat. But this is your time where you can take communion to the Lord. And you can say, yes, I remember what you did, God. But I'm also saying, I'm a living sacrifice for you. Take my body. Take my life. I choose to be poured out by you. So, Father God, I thank you right now for what you have shown us and for what you are doing. And you are challenging us right now. For some of us, it's just a recommitment of saying, yes, God, I've already poured out. I'm willing to continue to be poured out. And for some of us, we know you're really challenging us in this season to truly lay our life down to you. So, Father God, right now, as we open the altars, as we take communion, we're doing it as a dedication unto you that we are a living sacrifice for you. In Jesus' name, the altars are open. You're welcome to come. In the crushing, in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the 
the soil I now surrender you are breaking new ground so I yield to you and to your careful hand when I trust you I don't need to understand so make me your vessel make me an offering make me whatever you want me to be i came here with nothing but all you have given me jesus bring new wine out of me in the crushing in the pressing you are making new wine in the soil i now surrender you are breaking new ground yes you are breaking new ground so make me your vessel and make me an offering make me whatever you want me to be god i came here with nothing but all you have given me jesus bring new wine out of me jesus Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Because where there is new wine, there is new power. Where there's new freedom, the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. Cause where there is new wine, there is new power. Where there's new freedom, the kingdom is here lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today make me so make me your vessel make me an offering make me whatever you want me to be God, I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Cause where there is new wine, there is new power. Where there's new freedom, and the kingdom is here. I lay down my old things to carry your new fire today. Cause where there is new wine, there is new power. And where there's new freedom, then the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. We sing one more time, make me. So make me your vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. God, I came here with nothing, but all you
Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Oh, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. So, Father God, we ask that you bring new wine out of us, Father God, in this coming season, Father. As, as our life is laid down to you, Father, I pray that you will lead and you will guide us. And you'll give us the courage, Lord, to step out. Give us the boldness, Lord. I pray, Father God, for an arising of our gifts that are in us, Lord. I pray for the release of the gifts that are in us, Father. I pray Lord, that we will no longer hold back that we will no longer procrastinate, Lord, because some of us know that you're talking to us to do something. I pray, Father God, that we will have the courage and the faith to step out and do in this coming season. So I pray, Father God, for your covering and your blessing now for those that are here and for those that are online. I pray your blessing over this season. I pray an increase of hope, joy, and peace, God. And I pray, God, that you will watch our coming and our going. Be with us in this season. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And everyone said, amen. Hallelujah. You're free to go. Bless you.